By now you have completed the first four steps of our eight step process to really create a optimized Facebook page. And in this lecture now we're looking, we're gonna complete our Facebook cover photo. Facebook cover photo is really this part of your Facebook here. You can see in these examples, it gets huge visibility. It's prime real estate. You can use it to communicate, you know, what your business is about, like an airline, or you can use it to really explain your business a bit more and drive people towards a call to action. You can see that for this particular example, it goes straight to a shop on the website. So this little button, let's start with that because that's probably the easiest place we can start. If we look here now, there isn't a button there yet, but I can add that in simply by clicking add button. And there's a number of options that you can select here book now, call now, contact us, send message. You can add in an app, which we'll be looking at later. Shop now, sign up, etc. send email. So I'm just gonna put in sign up there. And I'm just gonna put in the home page of my business. Set up a link to back, so I'm just gonna create that there. You can get a preview of what it looks like on all of these devices. And uh, I'm not gonna promote that right now. But I can test this button. And I can see that that goes to the home page of my course, which is essentially allows people then to sign up to the course. So that is a nice little thing that you can really add in to the cover image. There's a lot of examples that you could probably look at. You can simply come into Facebook here maybe search for some businesses you you, you, you uh, know, or even just keep an eye on that as you scroll through Facebook. Uh, if you see interesting posts in your newsfeed, you can come and check those out. Uh, let's return to this one. You can see that this is quite good going straight to the shop now. So now that we have that extra button added in there, now it's time to actually uh, create our cover image. And what I suggest you do to, or what you use in order to do this is canva.com. Use this great tool. Once again, it's absolutely free. Great thing about Canva is that they have a Facebook cover template already made for you. This is the exact dimensions that you're gonna need. So you don't need to create this canvas yourself or anything. And you can see that they have the Facebook icon here. So you can create the cover image around that and you're not having overlapping uh, images, etc. One thing that I would recommend before we get into looking at some of these examples is that you right align your images. So let's have a look at this LATAM one here. You can see that on a mobile device, this Facebook icon will actually come up here and these will be shown kind of overlapping. So it's great if you can have your images either central or right aligned. Or over here, you can see that the main call to action is on the right side. Um, that really will not get cut off on a mobile device. And it also brings a little more balance to the page. So let us have a look at creating the cover image. There's a number of templates that you can use here. You can see that some of them are absolutely free and some of them might have paid elements uh, within them. Let me just take this example. Um, you can see that this image here is actually a paid element, but if I take that out, I can actually use the templates that are put up here. I could even upload my own image and put it into that space. So you'll have to play around, look for ones that are really appropriate for your business. And uh, I'm gonna take a couple of minutes and make one for myself right now. Okay, so I'm back now. I have designed my cover image. You can see that I very simply just added in a background, the title of my course, and I'm also taking advantage now of the sign up button that I've added in here. I'm putting a little arrow in here, just took it from the free arrows here in Canva to really draw attention to that. So I've estimated where that is, just trying to align it up properly. Uh, I am going to upload this image, and if I need to realign that, I can just do that, download, re-upload it again. So I've already downloaded it uh, to my desktop, so I'm just gonna click on add cover here, upload photo, and uh, it should be here on my desktop. I'm gonna let this load up and see if it looks okay. You'll have to really save changes to see how it looks in relation to the buttons. And now I can see that it lines up pretty well. I could maybe 
center that a little bit more. But I think it's drawing attention to this main button to get people to my website. And you can see it's pretty simple. There's a lot of things that you can do with covers, intertwine the uh, icon with the cover image, work, make those things work together, etc. But I would just recommend try and keep it as simple as possible. Just get something up there. You can always change this later on. So that really wraps up on step number five, our Facebook cover photo, making use of this prime real estate. And uh, we have all the sizes and templates from canva.com. Keep it simple as possible is what I'd say, at least to get started. You can see that this is not very complex. It doesn't look amazing. But I think it's enough really for me to launch the page and that's what I recommend you do as well. Just get something up there that looks okay. You can always change and improve on this as you go along. Next lecture, we're looking at page description, filling out a lot more of the information on the page here. So I'll see you there.